Hello, welcome to part 4 of this series. As you all know, explanation will be given in description and inside our telegram channel. So, let's don't waste much time. More to question number 61. A patient with recent cerebrovascular accident stroke present with impaired swallowing and difficulty with oral intake. Which of the following intervention would be the most appropriate to address this issue? Option A. Neuromuscular electrical nerve stimulation that's NMES. Option B. Thermal stimulation. Option C. Swallowing exercises. Option D. Compensatory swallowing techniques. And the answer is Option D. Compensatory swallowing technique. Now let's move to question number 62. A patient with osteoporosis reports experiencing back pain and fear of falling during weight-bearing activities. Which of the following intervention would be the most appropriate to address this issue? Option A. High impact aerobic exercises. Option B. Assistance training with free weights. Option C. Low impact weight bearing exercises. Option D. Whole body vibration training. And the answer is. Option C. Low impact weight bearing exercises. Now let's move to question number 63. A 9 year old child has been diagnosed with juvenile dermatomyositis, a autoimmunoinflammatory disorder, and exhibit muscle weakness, joint pain, and skin rashes. Which of the following physiotherapy intervention would be the most appropriate? Option A High intensity resistance training, Option B Aerobic exercise training and joint protection strategies, Option C Constraint induced movement therapy, Option D Electrical stimulation, and the answer is. Option B, aerobic exercise training and joint protection strategies. Now let's move to question number 64. A 8 year old child has been diagnosed with osteogenesis imperfectica, brittle bone disease and exhibit frequent fractures and muscle weakness and mobility impairments. Which of the following physiotherapy intervention would be the most appropriate in the later stages? Option A, weight bearing exercises. Option B. Aquatic therapy and low impact exercises. Option C. Constraint induced movement therapy. Option D. Both B and assistive device prescription. And the answer is. Option D. Both B and assistive device prescription. Now let's move to question number 65. A 68 year old patient with Parkinson's disease is experiencing difficult with balance and gait. Which of the following physiotherapy intervention would be the most appropriate? Option A. Threadmill training. Option B. Cardiovascular exercises. Option C. Cueing strategies and external cues. Option D. Passive range of motion exercises. And the answer is. Option C. Cueing strategies and external cues. Now let's move to question number 66. A patient with a diagnosis of charcot Marie tooth disease is undergoing physiotherapy. Which of the following intervention would be the most appropriate for improving functional mobility and reducing risk of fall? Option A. Constraint induced movement therapy. Option B. Functional electrical stimulation. Option C. Gait training with assistive devices. Option D. Iondophoresis. And the answer is Option C. Gait training with assistive devices. Now let's move to question number 67. A patient with diagnosis of lateral angle sprain is undergoing physiotherapy. Which of the following intervention would be the most appropriate in the acute phase of the injury? Option A. Balance board exercises. Option B. Cryotherapy and compression. Option C. Eccentric calf strengthening exercises. Option D. Joint mobilization technique. And the answer is Option B. Cryotherapy and compression. Now let's move to question number 68. A patient with a diagnosis of Ditching's muscular dystrophy is undergoing physiotherapy. Which of the following intervention would be the most appropriate for maintaining functional ability? Option A. Progressive resistance training. Option B. Hydrotherapy and aquatic exercises. Option C. Electromyogenic biofeedback. Option D. Extracorporeal shockwave therapy. And the answer is. Option B. Hydrotherapy and Aquatic Exercises Now let's move to question number 69. 
a patient with recent anterior cervical discectomy and fusion is undergoing physiotherapy which of the following precautions should be followed in early post operative phase option a avoid cervical flexion option b avoid cervical extension option c avoid cervical rotation option d avoid weight bearing activities and answer is option a avoid cervical flexion Now let's move to question number 70. A patient with diagnosis of myofascial pain syndrome is undergoing physiotherapy. Which of the following intervention would be most appropriate for addressing trigger points and muscle tightness? Option A, ultrasound therapy. Option B, trigger point dry needling. Option C, transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation. Option D, cryotherapy. And the answer is Option B, trigger point dry needling now let's move to question number 71 a 6 year old child has been diagnosed with developmental coordination disorder and exhibits difficulty with motor skills and coordination which of the following physiotherapy intervention would be the most appropriate option a task specific training option b aerobic exercise training option c constraint induced movement therapy option d all of the above and the answer is Option B all of the above Now let's move to question number 72 A 7 year old child has been diagnosed with spinal muscular dystrophy and exhibits progressive muscle weakness and respiratory difficulties Which of the following physiotherapy intervention would be the most appropriate Option A strength training exercises Option B respiratory management techniques and assistive device prescription Option C hydrotherapy and aquatic exercises option D electrical stimulation and the answer is option B respiratory management techniques and assistive device prescription now let's move to question number 73 a 9 year old has been diagnosed with juvenile idiopathic arthritis and exhibit joint pain stiffness and limited range of motion which of the following physiotherapy intervention would be the most appropriate option a high intensity resistance training option b hydrotherapy and aquatic exercises option c passive range of motion exercises and joint mobilization option d electrical stimulation and the answer is option c passive range of motion exercises and joint mobilization now let's move to question number 74 a 5 year old has been diagnosed with duchenne's muscular dystrophy and exhibit progressive muscle weakness and impaired mobility which of the following physiotherapy intervention would be the most appropriate option a strength training exercises option b aerobic exercise training option c passive range of motion exercises and stretching option d electrical stimulation and the answer is option c passive range of motion exercise and stretching now let's move to question number 75 A 7 year old child has been diagnosed with Charcot Marie Tooth disease and exhibit progressive muscle weakness and impaired balance. Which of the following physiotherapy intervention would be the most appropriate? Option A, high intensity strength training. Option B, gait training and assistive device prescription. Option C, constraint induced movement therapy. Option D, electrical stimulation. And answer is Option B, gait training and assistive device prescription. Now let's move to question number 76. A 6 year old child has been diagnosed with paddle willy syndrome and exhibit hypotonia, low muscle tone, obesity and developmental delay. Which of the following physiotherapy intervention would be the most appropriate? Option A, weight bearing exercises and resistance training. Option B, hydrotherapy and aquatic exercises. Option C, treadmill training. Option D, all of the above. And the answer is Option D all of the above. Now let's move to question number 77. A 8 year old child has been diagnosed with Moya Moya disease, a rare cerebrovascular disorder and exhibit hemiparesis, weakness on one side of the body. Which of the following physiotherapy intervention would be the most appropriate? Option A constraint induced movement therapy, option B neurodevelopmental treatment approach that's NDT approach, option C electrical stimulation, option D all of the above. and the answer is 
option D all of the above. Now let's move to question number 78. A 9-year-old child has been diagnosed with Friedreich's ataxia, a hereditary neurodegenerative disorder and exhibit ataxia, muscle weakness and gait abnormalities. Which of the following physiotherapy intervention would be the most appropriate? Option A. High intensity exercise training. Option B. Balance coordination training. Option C. Constraint induced movement therapy. Option D. Electrical stimulation. And answer is Option B. Balance and coordination training. Now let's move to question number 79. A 7-year-old child has been diagnosed with spina bifida and exhibit lower limb weakness, sensory impairment and urinary incontinence. Which of the following physiotherapy intervention would be the most appropriate? Option A. Gait training and assistive device prescription. Option B. Pelvic floor muscle training. Option C. Aerobic exercise training. Option D. All of the above. And the answer is... Option D. All of the above. Now let's go to question number 80. A 8 year old child has been diagnosed with brachial plexus birth injury and exhibit weakness and limited range of motion in the affected upper limb. Which of the following physiotherapy intervention would be the most appropriate? Option A constraint induced movement therapy. Option B range of motion exercise and positioning. Option C electrical stimulation. Option D all of the above. And the answer is. Option D, all of the above. So that's all for today. If you have any doubts, please mention in the comment section below. And see you next part. That's part 5. And all the best for your exam. See you till then. Bye bye.